Hi, I'm editor Bob Garrison with another video related to Prepared Foods 6 Power Trends. Today, we're looking more closely at the trend in technologies surrounding sustainability. Joining me is Luann Williams, co-founder and Global Insights Director at Innova Market Insights, a global firm with expertise in consumer insights, new product tracking, and trends. Welcome, Luann. Hey, Bob. Thanks. Uh, today, we want to focus on Innova's exclusive information, as well as your insight. Uh, so when it comes to data, uh, what do new products and consumer surveys tell you about efforts and intentions around sustainability? Uh, I, I know we only have a few minutes today, but I could I could talk about this all day long because it's um, it's very complicated, I think. And this is also um, a waiver between saying how much of this is a Wall Street issue versus how much is a consumer issue. We did see not in 2021, Number one global concern with consumers overall was health of the planet. So it has definitely moved into, it's occupying brain, occupying brain space, even if it's not your primary purchase driver, right? So Americans in general tend to be a little bit less engaged with sustainability and environmental issues than we see in some of the other regions. But I think that's also regional within the US. I'm sure the coast are probably much more concerned than maybe the rest of the country, but still four and five Americans have done something to live more sustainably. So that tells me all about they know people know what's the right thing to do. There's some brain space in there, but then how easy is it? Um, you know, if I go to Georgia, not that easy to recycle. You have to drive a long way and so on, for example, right? So it's also about how easy is this, right? So the number one action in the US around this is reducing food waste because that's easy. It's in my control. We also see in a lot of our consumer data now in consumer insights that everywhere in the world, people are looking for things that are within their control to do. Um, and, and you don't know what impact it has, right? If you turn the lights off, does it really make a difference? If you use your dryer less, does it really make a difference? Like you, you just don't know, right? So um, Americans care more about animal cru cruelty and human exploitation. So those rank a little bit ahead of some of the other ones. Um, but things that we see are kind of increasing are pollution and water shortages are starting to be those topics that are coming up, which again, it's on the news all the time. Look at, you know, California had no water, now it has too much water. So it's very difficult. Um, one trend that America is absolutely driving is the upcycling trend. We know there's an official certification for this, but we're seeing a lot of interest in that. Um, but that's not always a cost thing, but it's a, a nice benefit, right? And it's a better use of resource kind of, kind of trend. Um, but still, if we look at like ethical environmental claims, it's 5% of, of launches have this type of claim, right? So this is, this is sustainability it is very difficult. There's lots of different metrics for it. Consumers don't know what they can control, how much impact they're having. So it's a challenge. But again, I think also every company has their own metric. So everybody just has to continue if, to do the right thing. So, so looking, so again, so going a little bit more broadly or, or big picture, um, how how does how do you and Anova expect this trend to evolve in 2023, and what would you say that uh, food and beverage formulators need to consider? So, two thirds of American consumers think that companies should do more with their resources. So, I think that's the way to talk about it is resource efficiency, right? If it's waste, if it's water, if it's air quality, whatever it is, just say we're doing the best we can. Um, it'll take a lot more collaboration between industry, government, consumers. Um, so, it's not just about, you know, it's not this isolated kind of thing. Um, I think maybe a bigger topic is ESG investing versus profitability versus consumers. Like, that's still an area that's rife with discussion and debate and so on. Um, but in general, American consumers think governments are not doing enough. So there, there is this, even though there's maybe not total trust in government, there is this whole idea that this is not just, it's not something just I can do. The company just can't do it. The consumers definitely accept that. Um, it's all way too complicated. So looking, and I know consumers also think there's way too many environmental labels and so on. So simplicity to me is the, is the key for this. Um, Europe might give some inspiration on some of the single label scores, but then that's also starts a whole new, you know, debate. Is it relevant for my, um, you know, for, for my company, but still waste reduction, food waste reduction. So what can you do to help consumers? Is that through better packaging, reclosable packaging, smaller portion sizes, but that would be something I think, I think also for food service. I think we wasted way too much food in restaurants and everybody knows that. 
Women who can't eat too much also don't like being served all that food that just gets thrown away. I think it's a huge opportunity for food service just to tell people really honestly, we can cut it in half or we can, you know, whatever. I do think there's some messaging and something um, to do around that. And that would be a very easy win because everybody can understand food waste. All right. Well, thank you. That's a very, that's a tremendously large topic with multiple, with so many dimensions to it. But I think you've articulated it quite well. Thank you.